Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful evening, morning, night or day, wherever you are. Uh, <laughs> I guess I changed my intro. But no, um, I, um, I'm i happy you're here and uh, thank you for being part of another marathon. And um, yeah, I'm super excited. Um, this is a first marathon from Michael. I'm always very... Um, private about last names if they are okay with it you know um maybe the second time i'll mention but you know i don't think it's necessary um you know who you are thank you so much for sponsoring the marathon um i do appreciate it so so much and we have some songs here that i've never heard of i've never heard of the band um so i'm super excited to do something completely new so um uh, again thanks everyone for tuning in i hope you have a great time um if you like the video you know what to do you know <laughs> okay so what we're gonna look at today what we're gonna listen and react to is russ freeman and uh the ripping tons uh, i thought tones but it's tons ripping tons and uh we're gonna it's basically like uh, Russ Freeman and the Rippingtons, and then the Rippingtons by themselves, and then Russ Freeman by himself, and so forth. So, um, so this is Native Sons of a Distant Land from the album Sahara, Sahara from 1994. Then we're going to switch to the Rippingtons uh, solo uh, band Spanish Girl. Wild Card is the... Uh, the album this is from 2005 i love all these these covers they're very like unique very cartoony i like it i like the style um this is russ freeman by himself taos we've been to taos new mexico if it's if they're talking about that taos i'm sure they are because of the cover um from the album topaz 1999 and then we're going to go back to the Rippingtons, Kirk, Wallum, Russ Freeman, Welcome, uh, Wednesday's Child, Welcome to the San James Club. This is from 1990. They all have the same artist. I love it. It looks like a little bit there was this game that I love the art style uh, called... Um, Give me just a second. Let me just finish. We're going to do Kilimanjaro from the Rippingtons from the album Kilimanjaro from 88. All right. So those are the five songs. Now, what I'm look, uh, what I'm talking about, the art style is from this PlayStation game. And if you want to look it up, um, what, what is it? Um, I'm just going to like literally I have no uh, play. And then it, it was like a wolf. Or what? It, no, it wasn't a wolf. It was a. Oh, man. What are these cute little animals that come out at night? Oh, man, I you know. I'll I'll eventually think of it. I don't want to take too much time away. But yeah, it reminds me. There was this game, and the, the art style of this game was literally like the covers of these of these artists. Literally, like if it's the same guy, I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so here we go with Native Sons of a Distant Land. Here we go. Thank you again so much, Michael, for this request. I appreciate it. Let's go.
that was <laughs> so good. I can't believe it. Like, I guess, you know, Michael knows exactly my taste in music. And this is pretty much like, not exactly this music, but in part, like I listen to jazz that is like this. This is more like fusion. And this like, for example, Fran Gambale is one of my favorite guitar players, and he his band sounds like this. It's like jazz, but it has this kind of like crossover, you know, uh, jazz. And um, so let's read about this a little bit. It says, The ringtones are an American contemporary jazz group, mainly related to the genres of smooth jazz, jazz fusion, jazz pop. Th this is what I'm talking about here, the jazz pop. Um, formed in 85 by guitarist and band leader Russ Freeman, their career spanned more than three decades with revolving door, with a revolving revolving door of musicians. Freeman has been the only consistent member and they have inspired many other bands, including the Stolen Cat Club. Many of their songs have been played during the Weather Channel's Local on 8th uh, forecast segment. That's what this reminded me of. There's sometimes like, not the Weather Channel per se, but the commercials, like something exciting is about to happen. Some sports event, It's it has that fanfare, you know, that da 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 and then with jazz, of course, it just makes it so much better. It says the band's mascot, which I was talking about, um, is a grinning sunglass wearing jazz cat, which appears in the artwork of all the band's releases and their official website. So now I'm going to talk about this. So basically, it reminds me of Sly Cooper. This is the mascot of PlayStation. For a while, it was the mascot. And it has that art style a little bit, that, you know, that cartoony look in it. Since it's a cat, it's not a cat. This guy is a, um, what is this? Uh, what animal? It's a, uh, raccoon. It's a raccoon. So yeah, but, um, this really, and, and obviously look, uh, even Kenny G was part of this band because he fits in that, you know, in that kind of jazz, you know, it's, it's a, it's a more of a poppy. It's more poppy, but this was great. Um, if we have time at the end, you know, I would totally like, so it's going to be pretty close, but I might add something by, if I find something by Warner Brother, because this is all UMG, I don't want it to get blocked. But if we can like add some Frank Gambale in there, that would be amazing. Uh, and I already know which song, which is insane. I mean, Frank Gambale's chops are like not human. Like if you want to look him up on, uh, he was on, Rick Beato, um, oh my God, like he, this, the sweet picking that man plays, it's not real. Like it's like out of this world alien. Okay. So, um, this was amazing, by the way, it reminded me of so many things uh, of the, the Rocky, you know, when, when he's like, you know, training for his next fight against Ivan Drago in Russia, you know, that kind of deal, you know, it reminded me literally of that. It has that vibe, you know, so good. Okay, Spanish Girl is next. This is the Riptons. Here we go. Sorry, the Rippingtons. Holy moly. Um, here we go. This is, I love this Spanish Girl. It immediately has a little bit of a, you know, of a, the Spanish vibe, like a flamenco vibe, but not exactly.
Michael. So you have to listen to please uh, do so um, on whenever you can. Um, check out Steve Stevens. Um, he's on Spotify, or you can catch him on YouTube. He's an amazing guitar player who plays just like this. It's like a flamenco infused like but it's like pop rock flamenco and he plays incredible like lead guitar just like this and but it's more it has the same style it's not like the real flamenco it's not like you know manitas de plata or paco de lucia you know it's like gypsy kings but it's like even more with a beat it has like this electronic element to it like this I love this stuff. Like I used to improvise over like this, like when I was, you know, learning flamenco scales and, and all this stuff and how to improvise over these chords. Uh, check out Flamenco A Go Go uh, by Steve Stevens. You're going to love it. It's literally this kind of music. Um, I was like, I would love to play it, but it doesn't have, it's not Warner. So I hope to find something here that's Warner Brothers that's kind of like, um, could kind of like sound like this. If not, we'd, we'll just leave it. But uh, this is great. I love it. I love the uh, the vibe, you know, the, that flamenco vibe. And even though it's not real flamenco, it still sounds beautiful. But also check out uh, check out Steve Stevens' Flamenco Gogo. -Go. And then if you want to go really deep and listen to some crazy world music with flamenco, like these guys are just insane good um Strunz and farah oh my god just listen to all their stuff like you're gonna you're gonna be addicted to their music i've listened to all of their stuff it's just out of this world the talent and the virtuosity they have on the acoustic guitar literally they play acoustic guitar like many people can't even play the electric insane i might even play a song after this by Strunz and farah it's awesome I wouldn't be surprised if that was, in fact, Kenny G 
playing the sax because it's his style. Like also um, another band that I highly recommend is um, that uh, that's a band that I actually knew um, when I was a kid in Mexico. They were called Willie and Lobo. Uh, Willie um, Lobo is Wolfgang and he's from Germany and Willie was a Canadian violinist and he passed away sadly a couple of years ago. But I would always go see them as a kid. I would hang out uh, literally outside of the restaurant or bar or wherever they would show up. And they would literally, like Puerto Vallarta was like their second home. And um, every time they would always play on New Year's Eve <clears throat> at the best restaurants. And I would just like kind of like hear them from outside. And I did ha have one class by, by Lobo. And he gave me, he always gave me his, their, their newest CD. So the, I was like a fan of them. So check him out. They're on Spotify. You can catch them on YouTube as well. Willie and Lobo. Amazing, amazing duo. Like really playing amazing world music just like this. Um, so I still don't know what I'm going to do at the end, but um, uh, I'll I'll come up with something. I think Willie and Lobo is, would be a cool idea to 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 play after this. Okay, so Taos is the next song. Um, so I I wonder if they're talking about Taos in New Mexico. I'm, I'm sure they are. Let's go with the, this is Russ Freeman by himself. Here we go. Beautiful. This is like the music. This is like the music that um Alexia's cousin makes. Like literally this, like it's only flutes, you know, and and uh music to relax, to meditate to. It reminds me a lot of him. If you want to check him out, um his name is um Osiris Osiris Heyerdal. Heyerdal as the guy from Contiki, he, Alex is literally related to 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 them. Um, the Contiki Heyerdal, um, those people, um, the son, he's the grandson, and he is on Spotify. Check out Osiris or Osiris, Osiris Heyerdal. Um, he plays this music. I'm I'm uh, recommending a lot of music here. <laughs>
I love this. It reminds me of Aldi Miola. It reminds me a little bit, it, but not too much of Aldi Miola. It reminds me more of, uh, of like the style, the guitar he's playing, like the effect he's using. Pat Metheny, Aldi Miola. Um, but I love that it has almost this Japanese vibe to it. Like the scales, I think beautiful i love this music it's really really good like honestly i'm super surprised i know it's the sad thing about this is like since this is um music that a lot of people like and shame on them call like elevator music you know or spa music that is like when I hear that, I get so mad because like I'm like, dude, this is really good music. Like, but they're so used to using these things like in restaurants or in, you know, spas or, you know, uh, that because it's instrumental music, that's very good. And people are calm and people can talk. But when people call it that, I get so upset because it's way more than that. It's 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 world music and a lot of people don't don't know this but well beautiful stuff i love it good i think okay i think i'm gonna play um willie and lobo at the end because it's the music that matches because thrones and fara is too flamenco it's too wild not wild in a bad way it's it's just like it's so it's beautiful. I, I, would, I, I wish I had the time to like show you all three. <laughs> uh, man, I wish I had the time, honestly. Um, but at, at least I've mentioned them, you know. And I do want to add a bonus because that's how I roll. I don't usually do that always. Please keep it in mind, everyone. I just like to do it because I love to share music, new music. Because you're sharing this with me and the community. So I'm like, oh, I would like to add something as well. You know, it's kind of like my way of saying thank you and also like giving out a little bit more, you know. Um, but this is great. I love this music. I love this style of music. I love this kind of music. I That's the music I've th thought of, of playing if I don't find a band. You know, I put a backing track some some chords i make some backing tracks and you know just improvise over it like beautiful stuff like just beautiful melodies that you can sing and this is what i love, like about this what it says here this is a very cool description a hugely success a hugely successful instrumental group led by guitarist russ freeman the rippingtons 
emerged in California in the late 80s playing a radio-friendly brand of contemporary jazz. That's it, you know, that's it. It's like, and it's not just contemporary jazz, this was more world music, you know. Okay, so uh, Wednesday's Child is next. Uh, the Rippingtons, Kirk Wallum, Russ Freeman are involved. Here we go.
so good. <laughs> Again, maybe it was, you know, Kenny G. I even looked up Kenny G uh, right now. And uh, unfortunately, he plays for Sony Music. So we need something by Warner. Um, yeah, this is, I don't know. I I hope this doesn't get blocked because, I mean, all of them are UMG, literally, you know universal but the thing is sometimes with lesser known artists like they're not as you know uh like mercy you know like they show a little bit of more mercy but yeah i need to add one i need to add warner brothers artists so i, I guess i'm gonna take a little break um after this song oh you know what let me just take a break right now i do uh need a little bit of water I ran out of water, but I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and we're going to play the last song of the marathon, um, Kilimanjaro. Kilimanjaro. So here we go, Kilimanjaro. This is, again, Rippingtons and Russ Freeman from the album uh, Kilimanjaro. Here we go. 88. Thank you. 
Beautiful, man. The Japanese flute is so, so epic. Um, this reminded me so much of like the music that I listened to, you know, the, 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 the lines, you know, those, that's the jazz fusion that I listened to, you know? So, um, uh, I'll take a little break to look at what I'm going to play. Um, this was beautiful. Like, um, I just want to add something like, I don't know, maybe Willie and Lobo or Gianluc Ponti or something, you know, but, um, just give me one second. All right. So I've made a decision. It was very, very hard to do um, because basically I'm I, 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 I'm going for Jean-Luc Ponty, which is right there, right there, here. And the reason is because Jean-Luc Ponty is under Atlantic. Um, the record company is Atlantic and Atlantic is basically distributed by Warner. So it's not going to get blocked. So if, if the marathon gets blocked, then we have a way to dispute it through Atlantic or Warner. So I can't go with anything else. So I'm just going to list them. Please check out William Lobo. Check out Struns and Farah. Check out, um, um, oh my God, Steve Stevens. And that guy is the guy that wrote the theme for Top Gun, the... That guy. So he has this awesome flamenco album called Flamenco Gogo. Strunz and Farah, everything. I literally listen to everything. Willie and Lobo, just deep dive, you know, uh, if you're into this kind of music. Also, Frank Gambale, check out. That's a little bit more fusion esque. It's like not as easy to listen to as this was, but I'm going to go with Jean-Luc Ponty and I'm going to go with a song that I've never heard before. I'm going to do Mystical Adventures, the album from 1981, and we're going to do Rhythms of Hope. I just want to, you know, do some something similar. A little, This is a little bit more out there, Jean-Luc Ponty, as you know, but this is the song that's, if it gets blocked, is going to save us from, from that. So here goes Rith Rhythms of Hope. I really tried to find something Warner Brothers, but hey, only he is involved with them. So here we go.
so cool I, I love this guy and he has literally played with literally one of my favorite musicians ever um you know like if you uh just a, a couple of names stanley clark aldi meola alan holdsworth um uh let's see frank zappa mahavishnu orchestra um stefan grappelli oh my god um Jeff Gilson, I I don't know Jeff Gilson, um, but I mean it just goes on and on and on. The list is, this is such a great musician, wonderful musician. Um, I had like this DVD with him, Stanley Clark and Aldi Miola playing this amazing, uh, set called The Ride of Strings. Please check it out. Um, but yeah, I've talked about so much music in this video, so I hope you you know you check out these bands. Let me know in the comment section if you listen to these bands what do you think about this stuff you know that we did um by michael thank you so much for the introduction i'm definitely going to listen to his music in my spare time this is the stuff that i love you know this and obviously a little bit more extreme but fusion is like my instrumental music is my jam i don't care too much for 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 music with lyrics i've always been like that since the last, I guess, 15 years uh, when I got into guitar and I've always been more about the music than the lyrics. That's just how I roll. And Alexia was the literally the opposite. And when we met, um, I she only listened to music with lyrics and I only listened to instrumental music. And it was obviously very, it worked. But now Alexia's crossed over also. She can listen to music without lyrics. and most of the times when we listen to music, she doesn't even pay attention to the lyrics. I know that's also not optimal, but on the first tri listen, usually she does that. She, she kind of like blocks it out and listens to all the chord progressions and the bass and the time signatures and stuff that I taught her throughout the year. So thank you so much again, Michael. This was an amazing marathon. Thank you. Your first marathon on the channel. Um, let's hope for more, of course, whatever makes you happy. Thank you so much. If you like this video, please give it a like, you know, leave a nice comment or something. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one.